For 37 weeks in 1864, General William T. Sherman made Georgia his battleground. Observing the 150th anniversary, we present this week-by-week -week chronicle, 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March. I'm Masood Olufani for the Atlanta History Center. It is mid-July, 1864. The President of the Confederate States of America, Jefferson Davis, relieved General Johnston of his command for failing to arrest the advance of the enemy. In three months, Sherman's army has outnumbered, outgunned, and outmaneuvered Johnston to the gates of Atlanta. Atlanta is a fortress with a series of defenses too strong to assault and too extensive to surround. 10 miles of fortifications completely encircle the city. Designed by railroad engineer Lemuel P. Grant, they are built by slave labor. For their sweat, their white owners are paid $1 a day. After a year of grueling work, they complete the fortifications, essentially destroying the forest surrounding Atlanta. But Johnson's replacement is General John Bell Hood, who has no confidence in entrenchments. A Southern hero, daring and aggressive, Hood believes in the offensive power of his infantry to defend the city. Rather than Johnston's cautious retreat, Hood believes that his boldness and strategy, speed of movement, and determination in battle are a gift from heaven. I'm Masood Olafani, and this is week 13. 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March is a production of the Atlanta History Center and Georgia Public Broadcasting.